Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away With May. I'm May. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by to see what I have going on today. If you are returning, thank you, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. I appreciate each of you all so very much. So I am so excited about today's video. It is more of a decompression video for me. Um, I just had a long day at work and I really just wanted to do something to take my mind off of it. And so, um, I decided to go ahead and um, throw something together for you guys. So it is a just because, and that's a B-E-E, -E, <laughs> cause type of um, DIYs today. And I hope you guys will enjoy them. Um, if you have not done so, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. Just know that those comments are only desired and not required. And without further ado, we'll jump into the first project so today it's not really a diy it's more of a, a makeover if you will these two candles i've had for quite some time i really want to say years <laughs> i'm not even sure of where i got them from i think maybe from ross or dds i'm not 100 sure about that and then this little jar of honey um, my son's girlfriend gave us two jars of those super cute they're like really really tiny um and i'm not going to be doing a whole lot to these two items you'll see the little honey jar um later on down in the video so i am going to be using some various colors of browns tans um and yellows just because um, i kind of want to transition from summer right on into fall and i know with bees a lot of times it's more of that high yellow color um and black but i really wanted to mute that a little bit and tone it down and so i'm just going to be going in with some various um colors of browns and tans so with these little jars um i've looked at them they remind me of little honey pots <laughs> um for many for many years like i said i've had these candles and that's one of the things that's always has just popped out to me and so i had them in my stash and i was like you know what this would be cute to add to this project because um, i wanted to do something with the bees for probably the last couple weeks now and i just had it in my little um you know i have like a little crafting kit where i just put together things like okay this is what i want to craft type of deal and so i had those in there and so um all i'm going to do like you can see here i'm just going in with the colors um that tan color and then i'm going to be using some black paint by folk art just to fill in the little space like the opening to the beehive so it's not really a honey pot but i guess it could be a honey pot because that's where you know that's where the honey is happening so <laughs> but um nonetheless all i did was take that tag i used that to cover up where i wanted to put the opening it was not perfect by any means and this is not going to be a perfect craft it's going to be very rustic looking and all i do um is go and fill that in with that black paint and i have to tell you guys this is my first time using the licorice licorice color by uh, folk art and it is divine it just went on smooth as butter <laughs> so i was really happy about that i'm definitely um excited about using that for future projects so here i decided to um go in freehand with writing and i have terrible handwriting but um i went in with some white paint by uh, by folk art and i just wanted to put honey uh, honey on one and pot on the other again i know these are not actually honey pots but that's just what came to mind along with the whole beehive thing i hope you guys feel it i hope you guys see where i'm going with this you know i know a lot of times i'm all over the place but i hope you guys are you know feeling it <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I'm doing. I definitely should have used a paint pen or chalk pen here, but it still looked very cute in my opinion. Um, and I will add in, and I don't think I captured that on video, but I did take some of the um, bees from some stickers that I had got from Dollar Tree. I think they were part of the wall decals. Um, the sunflower wall decals and I just took two of the bees off of there and added them to each of these um, and once I finish just adding the wording here basically all I do is just go ahead and um, tie it off with some jute twine and these were like so simple to do and the uh, smell of them it's like a warm vanilla smell and it was like I'm like why haven't I burnt these well right now it's like um, 100 degrees of hell <laughs> here in california but um 
you know, I was like, why did I put these away? I don't know. I'm just weird like that. I love candles, so I'm always shifting things around. But nonetheless, that was it for those. And we're going to move into our next project. And this is a sign, a natural wood sign that I got from Michaels. Um, it was from their Simmer collection. And I have been waiting and waiting. They have been marked down for some time, like 60%, I think. But I still was like, that's just not enough, you know, to me. 60 cent is like 50%, you know, I don't know. That's just me. I need to see more percentage off. <laughs> so I waited and waited. I was hoping, I'm like, I hope they don't sell out or whatever. But they finally got down to a price where I was really happy with. And they came out to be about $3 each. So I really stocked up on a lot of their summer, si summer signs, especially the blank ones. Um, so, and they had some other cool stuff. So I would just urge you guys to stop by there and peek in and see what they, they're, you know, offering right now. Especially if you're you know get like little discounts you have their you're part of their rewards program and so forth really good deals right now and so i am going to be using some napkins that i got off of a dollar tree it has a little b emblem if you can't see it here um i think the shot is it, it'll pick up a little bit you know closer but um it is more of that muted yellow color i was talking about earlier and that i really like and i knew i wanted to do something with these like i said for quite some time so um i was really excited about these and all i'm doing is i just cut a circle out i fray away those little round edges there just you know until i get it to a place that i like and then i'm just gonna go ahead and um paint the board and like i said this is a blank canvas basically and um this color i forget the color it was but it came out a lot lighter <laughs> than what i anticipated but in the end it worked out it was really a pretty color um it had a, a real nice gold undertone to it so we'll definitely be using it on future projects especially as we transition into fall um but it was really nice once it dried it, it you know it played nice with me and here i was just trying to do some stain around the outer side i had a whole vision here it just was not coming together for me but um i think it was just because it had some type of coating on there so it would not absorb the stain so ultimately what i decided to do was to just go ahead and paint it and not wipe it off just let it air dry and see if that worked and it actually worked out very nicely it was the sh the, the shade i was going for so i was really pleased with that and you'll see that in about a few seconds. I think I just went ahead and, you know, skip that whole, you know, I didn't want to drain you guys on that part of it. <laughs> but here, I was just showing you where it just was not absorbing in certain spots. So, yeah, I wanted to pick up the wood grain, but it just was not working for me. So, there's the darker color there. Then I had this genius idea, like, let me just distress this part. But no, that started looking dirty. So, I was like, nope, I'm not feeling that either. <laughs> <laughs> but I kept trying and I was like, nope, 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 nope. This is not the look I was going for. So I ultimately decided to just paint all of it the dark brown. And then once it started drying, it had some of that natural wood pink peeking through. So I was super okay with that. Like that was like, I'll take it. You know, it, it's not exactly what I was going for, but it's not a fail in my opinion. So I just going with my Mod Podge, as you can see here, nothing fancy about this technique, just your run of the mill Mod Podge and, you know, decoupage situation happening here. Now these napkins were super thin and I got a good deal on them off of Amazon. I want to say they were like five bucks, um, close to maybe six bucks. Um, on Amazon, I had 20 in a pack, but of course you get four squares. And I know I'll have these at least for the next couple of years. So I do feel like that was an awesome bargain in my opinion. So here I wanted this sign to just say be humble because we should absolutely always be humble, right? We should never be cocky, conceited, you know, just so consumed with ourselves. We should always humble ourselves in, in, in pretty much every situation. Now I went in with this green. The bottle was a darker color. <laughs> So that's the reason I went with it. And I was like, oh, whoa, this is really, really bright. But after it dried, it was the perfect shade of green, y'all. So I was so happy. And I did go in with two coats of it. I'm so glad I did not switch out here. And I was on the fence with the whole green, the yellow, and brown happening here. But I was really trying to get the colors to tie into what was on that napkin. I know you can't really see it like up close but trust me it's it has like a super rich dark green and brown color to it and it really played well with this size so i am upset with, obsessed with this font right now i believe it's the dtc autumn um 
and I just love it. And it's in Cricut, um, the Cricut design space. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you know, this is still something you can accomplish using stickers from Dollar Tree. You can, um, you can get them from Walmart, or if you're good at free handing, you can, <laughs> you can also do that as well. So, um, I still feel like this was missing something. And as you can see, I did some distressing. Um, at first I thought maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I, I really feel like it needed that little piece to it. Um, and so here, like I said, I felt like it was missing something. So I used some nautical rope that I had. And this one I had used up almost the majority of it. So I was just trying not to waste it. And I, I probably should have used one of the full, um, full packages here just because, um, I don't know what I was thinking, you know, but I, it just, you could really see it, but I, I finagled it <laughs> uh, good enough where I think you can't really, really tell unless you're absolutely paying close, close attention to it. Um, and then, um, I've said it a million times too, right now Dollar Tree is killing the game with their picks and their flowers. And they have these wheat picks, which I have never, ever seen at any of my Dollar Trees ever. And so I was really excited to find those. I did stock up on those because they are going to be playing very well into my fall, fall DIYs that I have coming up. And I'm excited about that. Um, and I just tied that off. I didn't want to cut it down because, again, I'm going to be using them. Uh, and I just tied that off with the macrame rope. And I felt like that was just a good combo to, you know, a compliment to the um, nautical rope there. And all I did was hot glue these down. No permanent glue at all. Just because, again, I'm, you know, I want to repurpose these. So I don't want to have any real damage to them. So I did feel like the, t the top of the sign was a little bare. So I went in with some of the fall leaves um, from Dollar Tree. Very full. Um, I love the neutral color. And I've used you know some fall flowers in my some of my spring and summer di uh, DIYs just because I feel like they really complement the piece um not everything has to be super bright or super dark in my little old humble opinion <laughs> so I felt like this really just all came together so nice I kind of wish I had some ears of corn to throw in here I don't know why maybe it's the whole color combo thing <laughs> but I just love this this was just like a v cute and purple perfectly per that's not what I want to say perfectly cute piece <laughs> for me and I, I I really um I think I'm gonna hang this up probably in my hallway and I just love it and so I just kept going just to see but I I love where I left off there so next um I'm gonna be using one of the fence from the little wooden fences from Dollar Tree and I love these I'm excited about these too because for so long um, I did not have these in any of my Dollar Trees as well I don't know if they were selling out right away or what the deal was but now that whenever I see them I do pick up a couple be just because I feel like you can really incorporate them into so many projects so I'm, I'm so excited and again these these DIYs today are it's nothing that you've never seen before it's just again a total decompression a video and I just wanted to share with you guys um my creation so I hope you are enjoying it but all I'm going to do here on this fence is just alternate the colors black and white and I'm just showing you there the you know different colors of brown and I do have a tendency sometimes to use multiple colors just because um I like color you know the world is full of color. I love it. And it may seem a little busy, but I always feel like in the end, it just ties together well. Because I'm always looking at the end vision <laughs> of what I want to accomplish, you know? And so I feel like these colors will complement each other, play off each other very well. And like I said, that black, you guys, like, check it out. Like, oh my gosh. At first I was thinking this is maybe too Halloween-ish, but no, not at all. Once I go in and do the distress thing, it really came together very nicely and so i did decide here at the last minute to also go in and add um, another piece of that napkin here just because i wanted to just kind of tie it all together um and i put a little bouquet of the um these are like the smaller sunflowers from dollar tree and i just put them on the back i tied them off with some of that macrame rope again i'm not um, doing any heavy duty glues here just all hot glue again because you know if I can transition these things out I would love to do that um, and repurpose them so all I did there was tie that off just a little you know yarn design nothing fancy like I said and I just decided to go ahead and do some distressing with some white 
paint and um also too uh, michael's having a good set michael's was having a good sale on their paintbrushes too it's a lot of stuff they were having a good sale. at least for me i felt like they were having a good sale guys you should really just go by and check them out and um so once i added the distressing it was really giving me that farmhouse vibe i was super super feeling it but i did feel like it needed a little something more so i decided to go in with some distressing and using the black color so i don't know if it's just me liking this black color but i really do think um distressing the outs outside of the of the little fence or picket fence it really just tied it all together like it really made it a more of a cohesive piece and again this is something where um if you're in your office right now um you know i go to my office a few times out the week right now so these are really cute things to have around your desk especially if you don't have a full office right now just something nice to look at or you can always put it in your bathroom somewhere and if these are items that can just easily be displayed throughout the house and not take up a lot of space so next we're going to go in with the chunky cutting board i'm obsessed with these little things too again just recently found them a few weeks ago and so i you know i only got a few that day but i did go back and pick up some more because again this is just such a versatile piece and you can just incorporate it anywhere and so I just wanted to create this little board. I wanted it to be freestanding. So I'm doing a little sign. I'm, I'm sorry, a stand, a stand for it using one of the hexagon um, medallions that I, I ordered a bag of those off of Amazon. I actually thought they were a lot bigger, even though I looked at the dimensions. I just was like, okay, these are perfect for what I was needing. And they were not. They were way smaller than what I wanted them to be. But nonetheless, I have used them quite a bit. So I guess um, in actuality, it was what I needed. <laughs> so here, I'm going to do the same thing just alternate that um tan color like i did on the fix the black and uh tan i just want to get that same rhythm here and that's all i'm doing i'm giving this two full coats um on the the cutting board as well as i did on the little um, hexagon and then i'll go in with the black paint like i said i'm just alternating colors here and so I, the hexagon to me just remind me it's part of the little honeycomb. I don't know why it, it just does. So I thought that was a cute play on that. And so this black paint, you guys, I have to tell you, like, I know I sound like a broken record, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. Like it was, it was nice. And I, I, I just was like, yeah, I need to go back and get some more. Cause I think I only had one bottle left when I left. <laughs> when I got this one but all I'm going to do with that is once I get that um, covered I'm just going to set it to the side I'm going to go back and um, work on the on the cutting board and look how crisp those lines are like I just was like this this paint is giving me life it really is <laughs> and so I'm just going to use the same black paint and paint off the handle on the on the little uh, chunky cutting board and I go in I I think I only do like one-ish coats. I, I always say one-ish because it's never like a full hard two coats. So on the little um, stencil, I print this out from my Cricut Joy. All it says, and it was in their design space, so it was already pre-designed um, in the images. And again, if you, you don't have Cricut, don't be intimidated. You can definitely freehand this. You can definitely use stickers as an alternative to this. Um, and it will be the same you know have the same effect and so all i'm doing it just says honey on it says farm fresh honey then it has like i think it says like raw um organic something along those lines like that and then it has the same b uh cut out as it does on the napkins that i use for the decoupage so i'm just leaving that section blank there um right in the middle i'm leaving it that color because i'm going to go back in with some white and um add the butterfly in that way and so on that little pot as i was telling you guys or the little jar not pot the little honey jar um i just added the words honey on there and that was literally it i cut down the jute twine i didn't do too much with this because it is real honey <laughs> and we will be using it right now i do have it set up at my coffee bar coffee slash tea bar and um here i'm just going in and removing that stencil from here and once I get it all weeded out 
I love this. Like, it really came together so pretty. I love the font, too, for the honey on this one. And these cutting boards, I can't say it enough. I don't know if this was just intentional, but these boards, they have these little nicks in them, um, like little nicks and crannies, and it just adds such character to these little boards, and I just love them. I absolutely love them. And so here's where I'm just, um, I put down... I had weeded out the butterfly and then I'm not butterfly the bee <laughs> and I put it um put that back here and that's where I'm distressing over so once I lift that up you'll see what the bee looks like on here and I did intentionally leave that little midsection or uh, the lower part of the handle blade because I am going to cover that um later on in the macrame rope so here like i said i love this color contrast of the whites the tan and the black together i really like the way the colors play off of one another and all i'm doing here like i said is just wrapping that around until i'm satisfied tying it off initially i was like oh i should put a hanger but then i remember like duh you're gonna sit it on the stand <laughs> So that's what I'm doing there. I did go in with some more of those flower picks from Dollar Tree. I just snipped off um, a little piece from the bundle and that's it. I cut that string off and there you have it. And how cute is that? Now, of course, me being me, I did add a little uh, hot glue in there just because it was, it was acting a little willy wonky on me. But I just added just a tad bit of glue and then later on you'll see I'll come back in because I felt like I still needed something. So I added some ribbon. But here I'm going to do some of that white distressing on here on the little honeycomb piece. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. It's the honeycomb piece. <laughs> and... um that's it just again so it'll be tied together because I, I was gonna leave it just how it was but it looked a little off because the, the colors were so you know rich and there you have it but I like I said I'm gonna go in and add a little piece of ribbon this is a black and white striped ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby it was 50% off I believe it was $1.99 I got it for 99 cents and this is what I think ties this together it just really complemented the piece all together it tied into the stripes of the um little honeycomb piece and i just love this i absolutely love the 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 warmness of it because it's not so bright like it's just this cute farmhouse color combo so i hope you guys um I hope you guys like it too. <laughs> and be sure to let me know what you guys think about everything. And here it all is, you guys. That humble sign is so beautiful. Again, I wish, I kind of feel like I want some ears of corn on, <laughs> on there. But nonetheless, I loved everything today. Again, my whole decompression combo of DIYs. I, I hope, you know, it helped relax you guys as it did me um and you will see i switched this around because i put the pot before the honey um we should never put the pot before the honey <laughs> and i'll switch that around where to will read honey pot and i just absolutely love this it was so good so relaxing for me and um yeah so if you guys are still here thank you so much for hanging out with me and as i like to say before i wrap up each video um fall in love every day lovies every day you have an opportunity to open your eyes it's an opportunity to fall in love with at least one something that day and um i appreciate you guys hanging out with me today um taking my little de-stress journey with me um I appreciate each and every one of you who take time out of your day to spend with me. I can't say thank you enough. <laughs> and until the next video, lovies, um, I won't hold you guys up any further. Be safe, be kind, and happy crafting the days away. Again, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and leaving me a comment. Just know that those comments are only desired and not required if you have not already done so and until the next video lovies bye